This is the famous lemon battery. Let's make one. We know that a battery can be created by suspending two different metals in an acid. Lemons contain citric acid. If we insert a galvanized nail coated in zinc into one side of our lemon, then make a slit and insert a copper penny in the other side, we should have a battery. The voltmeter confirms that our two metals, zinc and copper, suspended in the lemon citric acid, create a measurable voltage, in this case just over one volt. The red lead from the meter connects to the plus side of the battery, the black lead to the minus side. Reversing the leads, we see a minus sign on the meter, meaning I have the leads connected backwards. The copper penny is the plus terminal of this battery. Let's connect an LED to this lemon battery. LEDs are a special type of low voltage, low current device. They can easily be damaged by high current. The letters represent the three words, light emitting diode. The word diode alerts us to something special about LEDs. Unlike ordinary light bulbs, LEDs must be connected a certain way. One lead, or wire, connects to the plus side of the battery, the other to the minus side. A flat spot at the base indicates the minus lead. This lead is connected to the minus terminal of the battery. Electrons flow in on the minus lead and out on the plus lead. Connect an LED backwards and it will not work. I am using small jumper cables with alligator clips to connect the LED to our lemon battery. We know that the copper is the plus terminal of our battery and the zinc coated nail is minus. Our LED is connected properly, but it is not glowing. We do not have enough current flowing to light this LED. Higher voltage will move more current through the LED. Let's increase the voltage by adding another lemon to our circuit. Connecting batteries in series adds the voltage from each battery. Remember to connect the plus from one battery to the minus of the other. Two lemons creates over one decimal eight volts. But our LED is still not glowing. We still don't have enough current to light the LED. Let's add two more lemons. Now we have over 3.5 volts. Connecting our LED, I can now detect a very tiny glow. Dimming the room lights and looking closely, we can see our LED is glowing. Four lemons create enough voltage and current to create a very dim glow. LEDs are available in different colors and sizes. This is a clear, high intensity LED. When connected to our lemon battery, a dim red glow is visible.
Lemon batteries are unable to create the large currents needed to operate most electric devices. But low current devices like this calculator are easily operated with two lemons. Review the vinegar battery video for instructions on connecting a calculator. If you would like to connect large numbers of lemon batteries, you can actually cut the lemons into quarters or smaller and each piece will work as a separate battery cell. When doing this, be careful when cutting and make sure that the area between each lemon piece is dry. If the pieces are joined by spilled lemon juice, it will affect the output of the battery. More information about lemon batteries can be found at our website, hylerode.com. Follow the projects link.